Okay. Okay, so God dear. Stay out, dear. Or is it because of the light? It might be the light. Anyway, oh hi there. Um, it is 22:30 on the 3rd of October, 2015. Ah, just a comment on some of that. Sort of like trying to do pictures and stuff. I like to comment Janet Lift on Life and Half Shell. Um, Half Shell. And I was, you know, a bit. I would sort of done this years ago, like. Right? Um, God, stay on in here. Um, <laughs> uh, and she said, I forget who it was now, but I think it was a lady in her 80s started painting and you know, became famous and all that. I don't know if I can't find this, I mean, uh, I'm just mucking about it really, but as I'm colourblind, it's funny enough I'm beginning to see the difference between colours, and it's the same as when I want to tell you, if I look away slightly like that, I can see the colours, but I don't know what they are, but with the different coloured tops and the different coloured pens, um, I'm beginning to learn the colours. It's hard to explain, and I find it really soothing, relaxing to do it. Whereas when I was at school, I hated it. I think it's because I was told to do it, and as I say, I couldn't see colours. I was hopeless at drawing. But now, oh, it really relaxes you. Know, it's a really strange sensation. I was going to say, oh, what I am using is, I mean, I don't know. One crown or pencil, no, but it's things called. Hang on, where are you Where are you gone? Where are you gone? Um, I'm going to stop putting these in a proper case or something. That's what they are. Those. Um, washable. They are, and the tops are all different colours, you know, so that helps me. And it, I don't know whether they felt. They're called washable lava pool. Um, I don't know whether that means they ever run out of ink. Um, because a lot of this is in sort of like, I don't know, Chinese and other stuff that don't really explain it to someone like me who's a complete novice. Oh, I can't put it away now. Um, I'm just trying to put it away in a packet. Um, yeah. just enough falling all over the place in this. Um, yeah, I don't know whether they run, they run out of ink. Um, whether washing, I suppose it means just the tip revives it somehow, or does it mean if it gets dirty, I don't know, it would get dirty colouring, I don't know. I've got some others that I haven't, sorry keep disappearing, I haven't really used yet, it's some sort of glitter stuff. Um, I haven't even opened it, so I hope it'll probably go all over the place. I don't know how you open this at all, that's why I open. A shock. Uh, it, I don't know if you can see in this, it's got it's sort of glittery, the stuff inside. I've used stuff like that before when I used to make stuff, like Christmas cards using the computer. You can't really see it, but they look, um, they look glittery inside. And whether they are, I don't know. I shall have to find out by experimenting. So I keep moving away. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying this. I mean, I can understand like when Bryce said he really enjoys his art. Well, I'm only on, well, not even the first rung of the ladder. But I forget now whether he's been trained as an artiste in what he does. No, I mean, no. <laughs> the difference between a professional and a rank amateur like me. Um, but I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. That, uh, I said, was a swan. Is it a white swan? I don't know, you'd um, describe it, it's not all that big, it's like a little statue, and uh, that's what I copied it off, but got it almost exactly the same as that, which for me is all, it's quite unusual, because usually when I, if I draw, 
I can't, I, you know, you so I was drawing a, a person, you'd get the head much too big or too small for the body, and the hands would be out of portion and all this. Well, I think they've got over that somehow. There's strange things happen. I mean, <laughs> when I was a kid, I was terrified of dogs, absolutely petrified. I was a little boy, and we was in a bed and breakfast, my mum and dad and my sister. And this dog would insist on laying down the bottom of the stairs every morning. Oh, I made every excuse under the sun not to go down. I was petrified, just used to look up at me, whether it knew or what. Well, between then, and when I was right away from my twenties, not much contact with dogs. And when I was with my ex, she had a dog. And my fright of dogs had completely disappeared without me knowing. I used to pull him, out, pull him along by his teeth. You know, I love dogs now, I can't get enough of them. And I wonder if it's that sort of thing with drawing in there, you know. I mean, I don't think I'll ever paint. I don't like painting. It's too messy, too wet. And I don't, I just feel as though I couldn't do that. But colouring in with crayons all well, these sort of filters seems to suit me like, you know. What an analogy, dogs and drawing. So that, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, yeah, so, well, I don't think I'll get inspired or inspired. I just suddenly start drawing something. Whether it's sort of like doodling sort of stuff. Uh, or like, I just happened to look at this one, got the... Uh, pad out and started drawing it and colouring it, you know. The only way I used the colour was the inside of it. I forget what colour I've done there, it was in the book. I realised I had to have a lighter colour inside and a, higher, a darker colour on the outside. So it made the inside somehow that it gets the daylight and the other bits in the shade. So I understand that from taking photos. Whether I'll learn colours and shades and stuff. From that, I don't know. But it's very interesting, I mean, it's like an adventure, you know, finding out. I didn't think there's much I needed to find out, really. Whilst well, watching a film, it's not quite so loud this time. Hopefully, there'll be no shouting, screaming and shooting in the background. I must think I live in flipping mafia home or something. Anyway, I'm going to bugger off now. What is it? 7.47. Um, yeah, so if anyone knows about these pens, they're not a filtered pen in the fact that you don't wobble around when you touch the thing. Look, you just touch it like that and, and it's there, the colour on your finger or whatever. So I shall go now, as I said. And uh, thanks for the comments from everybody. I didn't expect any of that at all. I thought they'd say, oh, don't bother, don't give up the day job, like, you know. I don't work. Oh, well, never mind. So, thanks for uh, your comments, as I say, and I'll probably catch you sometime tomorrow. Look forward to your videos. So, bye for now.